This was me 21 days ago. And after stick handling every day for three weeks, this is me now. The challenge was simple. I would do a 10 minute stick handling session every single day of the week. To measure the results, I performed and filmed three stick handling tests on day one, and then again at the end of the challenge. The differences you'll see at the end of the challenge will blow you away. When lockdown started in Ontario, I set up a dangle area in my basement to get my hockey fix and work on my hands. Fast forward a year and a half later, and not only have I only been able to play one beer league hockey game, I haven't been doing much stick handling lately either. With arenas starting to open back up in Canada, I thought it would be a perfect time to put myself through a stick handling challenge to see just how much a hockey player can improve their hands if they make stick handling a daily habit. I kicked the challenge off on day one with three stick handling tests. The first was the figure eight challenge that McDavid had going viral for a bit. I would see how many reps I could get in 30 seconds and this was a good test for puck control. To keep things consistent on my testing days, I would time three minutes of rest between tests. The second test was 30 seconds of quick dribbles. This would be a forearm speed and conditioning test to see how well I could keep up the fast hands over 30 seconds. And lastly, I would perform 10 backhand toe drags while forcing myself to keep my head up the entire time by looking into the camera. The day one testing wasn't awful, but there was lots of room for improvement, especially in the backhand toe drags. It was time to get to work. Each day I ran through a 10 minute stick handling session from our hockey training TV app following along on my phone or iPad. To ensure I didn't miss any days, I set an alarm on my phone to go off daily at 2 p.m., which saved me a couple of times on the weekends. The awesome thing about this challenge is that 10 minutes is easy to fit into your day no matter how busy you are, and the fact that you can stick handle from home makes it even easier. Everything was going great and I was noticing some solid progress, but then I ran into an issue. So this challenge was supposed to be 30 days. I ended up cutting it down to 21 days, as you can see from the title of this video. I feel like a bit of a walking band-aid after also getting injured in my shooting video, but you can see I've got a wrist splint on here. Me and my friends started playing a ton of tennis this summer with the arenas being closed. Didn't want to turn into a milk bag. So picked up tennis, played a little too much, started getting a or a little bump on the back of my hand. I was told to wear a wrist splint, stop all activity for a few weeks. So what I did was I stick handled for a couple more days to make it an even 21 days, retested my stick handling, and then now I'm gonna let my wrist heal. So I went exactly three weeks of stick handling, a couple days off, and then testing days today on Monday. Let's see how it goes. I cannot believe this. Testing time, I got the wrist splint off, 45 seconds on the clock, I'm gonna start it. When it gets down to 30, I'll start the figure eights. Ready, let's go. Here's a comparison from before and after. You'll notice a bit of motion blur on the after shot, and although I was going faster, that was because of a camera setting I messed up. But you'll see I pull ahead pretty quickly from the day one testing, and even though I hit a puck towards the end, I still finished the test with 23 reps on day 21 compared to 20 reps on day one. Good for a 15% increase. All right, three minutes is up. I've got 45 seconds on the clock now for the dribbles. I'm gonna start that up now. Once it hits 30, we're going for 30 seconds. You'll see pretty clearly by comparing these two video clips side by side that I got quite a bit better with my dribbles, but the real difference can be seen towards the end of the test. My forearm started to burn out during the day one testing and my form gets very sloppy as I start to lose and miss the puck with my dribbles. By day 21, I had nearly no issues maintaining speed and form for the full 30 seconds as my forearms were much better conditioned by the end of the challenge. 10 backhand toe drags looking into the camera. Here we go. One. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, hold on, got off the edge there. I won't count that one. Seven. Eight, really struggling here. Nine, 10, <laughs> screwed up that one. So as you can tell there, the, those backhand toe drags were pretty awful. I think it's because I'm usually, if I'm looking up, I'm about to do the backhand toe drag, I'll usually look kind of on an angle down before pulling it across and looking up again. So that really showed in that uh, test. So hopefully we can improve on that in the next one. We're gonna do 11 backhand toe drags because apparently I can't count. Last time I did 11, I'm gonna do 11 again. Again, looking right into the camera the entire time. So here we go. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, 
Nine. Ten. Ah. All right, 11. I feel like I did a lot better that time. We'll watch the tape and see how it looks. On day 21, I hit my backhand toe drags at an 82% clip compared to 36% on day one. And I even nearly went 11 for 11 with two narrow misses at the end. The differences in my testing after just three weeks was pretty crazy. And what makes it even crazier is that although I was doing 10 minute stick handling sessions, that included an equal amount of rest time. So it was really five minutes of stick handling each day. It makes me wonder how filthy a player's hands could get if they were to make stick handling a daily habit for an entire year. Hmm, maybe that's my next challenge idea. Anyways, if you want to improve your hands, make sure you download our Hockey Training TV app where I will personally run you through the stick handling sessions that you need to upgrade your mitts. I recommend all hockey players try and stick handle for 10 minutes a day at least four to five times per week, if not daily. If you can commit to that, it won't take long before you have the best hands on your team and eventually your league. If you like this video and want more hockey challenge videos, please do me a big favor and smash the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel. Let's go.